Yeah. Well, today, is it the 18th? I think it's the 18th of December, 2023. And uh, we've come down to the beach in Santa Ponza. Hello, we've got everybody. Luna, we've got Savannah yes. with us. And, uh, Mommy's well, Mummy's gone to the dentist. So uh, we've come dentist. down to the beach and it's beautiful. It's calm, it's sunny. It's a bit chilly because it's only half past nine in the morning. But uh, children have got plenty of space to have a run around. And it is a beautiful, calm day, and um, pretty much we've got the Santa Ponza beach almost to ourselves. It is a bit cold though, and I don't think anybody's going to be going in the water today. But if they were, it's very, very calm. And not much in the way of boats out there either. There's one sailing boat, looks as though it must be anchored out there. In the news today, Santa Ponza is in the news. Um, apparently a lot of jellyfish, which is a little bit strange at this time of the year to have jellyfish in the water. But uh, the, uh, the boffins, as they're called in the newspaper, have said it's due to the fact that the water is so warm and uh, hasn't cooled down yet. And it's just perfect breeding ground and uh, where they like to be. So uh, if you were in the water, you'd be dodging the jellyfish. Look at that one. piles of seaweed over in the distance and just a little bit here really nice At this time of the year, the dog walkers are welcome back. So what we've seen is just a few dogs, not many dogs, uh, allowed to have a little run around on the beach and even a little splash in the water. And there are only two children on the beach enjoying playing in the sand. You might have heard uh, the children say that Serena's gone to the dentist and uh, you might think that's a strange thing but I was reading the paper today and they've got a map of the UK showing how difficult it is to find an NHS dentist, to find a dentist uh, that will give you treatment and uh, Serena had a problem a few weeks ago and uh, she, she had to get to an emergency desk. She can't register with a dentist where she lives. Uh, and so she had to go to an emergency dentist. So she had the uh, preliminary uh, treatment done in the UK and uh, the dentist said, no, I can't take you on as an NHS patient. And that seems to be very much the story down in the Southwest, that uh, it's impossible to, to find an NHS dentist. Uh, and even for the dentist that she did go to, she had to travel quite a long way, which really is difficult for people with families and with uh, an elderly who find it difficult to get around. So, uh, well, we, we suggested the solution was to use our dentist here. Not a national health dentist, a private dentist, but uh, uh, we have great faith in him. And if we're going to pay any dentist, then Howard is the one we're going to pay. So she's gone to Howard and hopefully she's getting her treatment now all sorted out. I must say, you do read some horror stories in the newspaper of uh, people going to dentists in other countries. Uh, quite often they go to Turkey, places like that, where it is very cheap, uh, but you get what you pay for. Uh, we do have a lot of faith in our dentists. We've been going to him for a number of years now, yeah. and we've always had excellent treatment. It does seem something like uh, what the government has allowed to decline to such an appalling level over the last few years and uh, we just don't train enough dentists so uh, we're in the problem we have anyway Anita's taken Luna down to the sea 
hopefully not for a pad. Oh no, that's, that's Savannah, sorry, down there. Luna is happily playing in the sand. I do have NHLS uh, dentists apparently in Spain, but it's not something we've ever used. Uh, we've always gone to private dentists. In the past, we've gone to uh, a Dutch dentist who we went to for many, many, many years. And he retired and is happily retired here in Santa Ponza. And uh, we then tried one in San Caliu and uh, he went back to uh, work in the UK. And uh, we've been with Howard now for quite a few years. Yes. Nana. Luna got a bit of a cough. Nana. 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 What lovely things and uh, while well, we're just waiting for Serene to come down now, and um, just a little report on her their experience of coming through the airport on uh, Sunday evening, when the airport was really really quiet, I would imagine, and very very few people coming through, particularly from the UK that is, and uh, apparently there were very very few people on duty doing the chest passport checks and stamping there is only very few people usually I usually go through the electronic one though uh, except when you've got children and um, which they did have and so it seemed to take a, forever apparently big long queues and uh, just reading in the paper they do, do seem to have uh, a bit of a problem with the uh, immigration with the passport stamping and checks uh, and it's due to the fact that there's only five technicians four of them are off sick at the moment so um, the technicians, I guess, keep them all the machines going, keep everything running smoothly. Uh, anyway, it took them uh, just exactly one hour to get through um, from landing uh, to, uh, to us going towards the car, which uh, seemed to be quite a wait, really. Uh, hopefully that will all change and uh, we'll get uh, the, the other terminal will open for the summer and things will get speeded through a little bit then. But then uh, in the autumn, so as the season ends, uh, Europe, and this isn't Spain, this is Europe, is introducing the electronic entry and exit system. And that will mean you'll have your photograph taken uh, and you'll have your fingerprints taken as you come in. Uh, I don't know about going out, but certainly as you come, yeah, I guess as you go out as well. So they know exactly when you arrived and when exactly when you've gone. Um, we don't any, have to have any more of the manual stamping of the passports. Um, and this is a, a precursor of the uh, ETIAS, which is going to probably come the following year. So not in 2024, but in 2025, once the electronic entry and exit system is up and running, then ETIAS can be introduced and it can work properly. And uh, that will mean you'll have to get a visa waiver. So from 2025, and again, no date is exactly set yet, but from 2025, it looks as though you're gonna to have to have the visa waiver. Uh, it's only cost seven, seven euros, seven euros, I think. Um, and it lasts for a couple of years. So it's, uh, it's not a lot of money. It's just a little bit of a hassle. And uh, it's not for everyone as well. Uh, I think if you're over a certain age and below a certain age, uh, you don't have to pay anyway, so I think you've all got to have one, but you don't have to pay. But uh, more details from that as they emerge, and you don't need to worry about it for 2024, and uh, hopefully we'll have lots of people enjoying wonderful holidays. 2023, been a bumper year, and uh, seemed to have been very successful on all fronts, so um, we'll see how it uh, how it materialises. The news is saying that we've got uh, lots of Brits coming here for Christmas, and uh, we've got this beautiful sunny weather. I mean, I'm getting sunburnt here, I think. Uh, and uh, also bookings look uh, look pretty good for 2024. So uh, yeah, this empty beach that we've got here in Santa Ponza. Well, look, a completely different place when the season starts. And that could be as early as March. There are some hotels that are going to be opening uh, in the resorts. I don't know about particularly here, but some of the resorts are going to be opening as early as February. But then March, things will start to kick off with Easter. And then uh, it will just escalate then uh, as we go into the summer months. 
We did have a comment from somebody who arrived on a cruise in June and said the weather wasn't as good as they were expecting. Well, weather is weather and uh, it's really hard to predict what it's going to be like on a particular day in a particular month even. Uh, June's usually a very warm month and maybe we had a few bad days last June. Uh, difficult for us to remember really now. I do know that November and certainly the beginning of December were delightful this year, absolutely wonderful weather. And now it's not bad at all. It's coming up to about 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, the temperatures, well, it's cool, so it's probably only about 15 degrees, uh, but it will get up to about 18 degrees later on as the sun starts to warm places up. So as long as you're dressed for it, this is perfect weather. Big thank you to all the people who've sent me photographs and videos. Uh, hopefully got the last few in. There's well over 50 of them now, so I'll be putting all that together. I'm just debating whether I should put music or not put music to it. I'll just let you play your own music. Maybe I should just say, Alexa, play Christmas music or something like that. I don't know. Because um, I, can, I can never find good music. I'm not very good at doing that. So maybe I just... Uh, don't put any there. Anyway, I'll uh, have a think about that over the next few days as I uh, prepare the video. Well, it's been a quick trip to Santa Ponza, but we're going off now because Nita's got a parcel arriving. I wonder what's in that? No idea. Has Santa Claus delivering something? Or is it Mr. Amazon? Maybe it's Mr. Bagley sending me a present. <laughs> You could wish. Anyway, bye for now. Look bye, forward to seeing you next one. Bye. bye. <laughs> Just as a little postscript, you can see the promenade we've come up now, and uh, it's all quiet, and all the uh, all the bars down at this side and the restaurants—they're all closed. Hey, just look who we've bumped into. Hello, <laughs> And, uh, and it's a postscript to the postscript. This is um, Harry's Bistro. And uh, we've not been here yet, but uh, heard lots of good things about it. So uh, it's one of the ones that's on our list of places to go. And uh, we've got some house specials here. All 1095. Or you can have a Sunday lunch from 12.95, fish and chips Burger. all day, 12.95. Definitely somewhere we've got to go to. They're closed on Mondays, but uh, that looks good for us. I'm here for lunch.